So I just feel really blessed through this journey to have been surrounded by so many incredible opportunities to learn. Just many mentors over the years and just shadowing them, learning from them, observ observing from life. I mean, my greatest teachers have been the children themselves and learning from our kids and learning from um, people who live in poverty, I think has been incredible for me. I think some of the biggest things that I've learned from the, uh, from the, the kids are just um, uh, the values of courage and resilience. I think those stand out the most. A big learning was like, what is within my control and what is outside my control. And I still struggle a lot and I still sort of fight this learning in my own head because I used to really, I started this journey feeling I could change a lot of stuff. You know, like you can change the world. And I was 18, you can change everything. And slowly, slowly I realized that no, like the only real thing that I can change is myself. And even that is so hard, right? Like to make the smallest change um, within ourselves is, is so hard. But I think for me, that was a massive realization that like direct a lot of the work internally because that's what's going to be the most sustainable. I think that's one thing um, that was a big learning for me. And the second was just really operating with the values that you believe in. I think all of us have a set of values that we naturally gravitate towards, that we want to be known for, but knowing what that means in day-to-day -day actions and where you're not acting in accordance with that value, being reflective enough to realize that, still gentle enough that you're not beating yourself up, but uh, aware enough that today I didn't operate with compassion in this particular meeting, like what could I have done differently? Um, being Learning to apologize, learning to like let go, to forgive myself, other people as well. So just operating with values I think has been a, a really, keeping that central. And then the third thing is, I've learned like when I started this work also for me it was all about kids. It was not about the people that I worked with. In fact, I just saw them as whatever. They're a tool to help the kids and they should sort out their own issues. Like why should I be sorting out adults' issues? Like we're all here for the kids. I've really shifted my mindset on that. I think if you don't look after and try to understand the most deeply the people closest to you, it's not going to translate down to the children. And that's been a big, big shift again and a big learning. So a, a lot of it, I think if I were to choose one thing, it's just self-awareness, like, because these are all journeys for all of us. And I know if you talk to me five years from now, I'll be saying different things about where I am on my journey. But the one thing that's helped a lot has been a belief in self-awareness and reflection. Like, am I able to observe myself in different situations and learn from that? Um, and be okay where I make mistakes because every day I'm making mistakes. So how can I not feel bad about that, but say, let me use that as an opportunity to learn and become a little bit better.